Welcome. I'm your host, Dustin. And I'm also Dustin. And we're not going anywhere. Uh, this week, we got something pretty special um, for a personal reason. <laughs> it's special, yeah. It's special for <laughs> the tie-in that we're about to have with this film. Um, so I'm going to let other Dustin take it away from here because he put this one upon us to watch. And I was pretty hyped to watch this. And the reason behind it, I will let him explain. All right, so I chose 2018's Mara. Uh, for those who don't know, Mara is a movie about a sleep paralysis demon, yep. and I actually got to encounter my first sleep paralysis episode, and 10 out of 10 will not recommend it. And I uh, hope I never have to have it. Dude, it is the scariest shit I've, like, literally, like, I've, you know, I, my whole life, that's probably the scariest thing I've ever dealt with. You know, not being able to move, knowing that you're awake. But it's a brief thing. Like, uh, my wife was looking into it. Like, it's a it's a two to three minute scenario. But at that time, it's like you feel like it's dragging, dude, because you can't move. Like, you can't. Yeah. I, you know, I can't wake her up next to me, man. And I I literally called out of work the next day because it fucked me up so bad. Uh, but yeah, if, I remember the dream being, you know, me and my wife, you know, just doing shit. And then she disappeared. Oh, no. And yeah. And what replaced her was the monster. And it's funny because like I, the monster's name, I vividly remember I call calling him Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> One, that's my little brother's name, but it's like they were as they're asking me questions about it, and then I'm like, "Yeah, no, I don't know, and then awake, but I couldn't fucking move, and you know, I'm sitting there like freaking out, and then because I stressed out so hard about it, I didn't go back to bed, yeah, I probably you wouldn't know, have that, either, yeah, so I will ten out of ten not recommend you ever have a sleep paralysis episode. um, I looked up things to kind of like help with it, and it's like a a, a regular sleep habit which i don't mm, have me either uh, uh, anxiety <laughs> which i do have same uh stress also have yes <laughs> so <laughs> so it's just things that you have to regulate but since then i haven't had another you know encounter but i picked mara because i remember watching it a couple of years ago and being super impressed with it uh and it definitely fit the, I don't say the theme, but the scenario that I had been in. And I'm like, let's fucking talk about some sleep paralysis demons. Hell yeah. I'm also really curious, before we start jumping to everything, at this time of the show, if you guys are listening to it or watching it, comment below. Let us know if you've had any episodes yeah. or anything. Because I'm, I'm really curious. When you came and told me about this, I was like, I remember watching a really good documentary. I'm pretty sure it's still on Netflix about mm -hmm. sleep paralysis i forget what it's called it's like an hour and a half long with like four or five people telling their stories and they say everything and um i've always been really intrigued with that whole it's not even like a concept because it does happen like the whole phenomena of sleep paralysis and some people see demons some people mm -hmm. like you just lay there you can't do shit or whatever else happens in between. And I really hope I don't have it, but there's a small part of me that's like, I want to experience this just so I can have a story to go along with everybody else and to fact actually like be like, I understand now <laughs> of yeah, why this is so terrifying. <laughs> and it's one of those things you you only like for me, I only ever seen in the movies, you know, like mm -hmm. uh and having first hand experience now, it's just it's it's not fun. It's not, but I mean, it is, it's scary as fuck, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. And um, I feel like uh, this movie we're about to talk about, Mara, does a pretty good um, depiction of what it's like. I, I've i never mm -hmm. had it, but from watching the documentary and getting your story, it's like, okay, they, it seems like they captured the moments of you being able not to do anything pretty damn well. Yeah. Um, do you want to talk about the uh, synopsis or anything or Rotten Tomatoes before we start jumping into this? Yeah, so Mara is about a a psychiatric doctor, right? Like yeah. she's a psychologist. Yeah. 
uh, investigating a murder with, you know, detectives. And with doing that, they start stumbling upon, like, literally layers that are unfolding for them. By meeting these people who claim to have sleep paralysis, and they claim that there is this otherworldly being hunting them down. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's not that she didn't believe them because she does suffer from sleep paralysis, but once she's told these stories, then she starts experiencing it, which, and I like that because later on in the movie, we kind of get like a, a breakdown as to why she thinks Mara is hunting her down. Yep. And yeah, that's pretty much it without giving anything away before we jump into spoilers but yeah if you want to head over to rotten tomatoes we can do those those uh numbers if you want yeah do you want to take a guess at what the uh the critic score is with 19 reviews uh 21 percent. 26 you're pretty close oh there we go okay um and what about the audience it has 100 plus ratings 54 24 24. Yeah. 26 wow. to 24. So it's very well, I don't want to say it's low rated because there's not really a lot of reviews on this. Yeah, we can't um, even say it's even road either because it's there's the 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 viewers outweigh the critics. Yeah, for sure. Um this is my first time watching this. Um I think I heard of this yeah. film maybe when it was coming out. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do we have uh, any data on theatrical release for this? Let me see if Rotten Tomatoes has mm-hmm. any of that. No, this was a streaming exclusive movie. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it oh. dropped. It only dropped. Go it ahead. dropped Sorry. on September 7th in theaters limited. So it dropped on my birthday oh. in 2018. And then it went to streaming the day after. <laughs> oh, so literally. Okay. I'm not, I'm not going to count that theatrical no, me release. Either. That's like super, super. <laughs> that sounds. Uh, it sounds like your experience with stream. <laughs> Literally, dude. <laughs> I'm so mad about that still. Um, but yeah, we just kind of follow this uh, psychiatri- um, psychiatrist, essentially. It's like she's um, over there, deals with all the criminal stuff like you stated before. Um, so my brief overview of this, how I felt before we go into spoilers, was I was, enta- I was entertained, very entertained. Um, there were some parts of it that kind of took me out. I thought maybe just the way things were acted or shot or how communications between certain characters were a little off. Um, but with a movie like this, I think you're meant to kind of feel a little off because you're dealing with sleep paralysis and these people not getting any kind of sleep. So like they're going insane slowly and the things that they have to do to keep themselves awake, which is a really cool um, scene of somebody doing something to keep himself mm-hmm. awake for a while and then it kind of backfires on him um but there's a lot of things to like about this movie i can see why maybe they put it lower on the scale that's because it's not super polished it's it has to be an indie film i don't i didn't see any budget um information anywhere but regardless i thought the acting was pretty on par for what this movie is and um i really do recommend this movie if you guys are interested in this type of horror thriller mystery type of film um yeah i don't see any budget any budget, budget was estimated at, at five million. Oh, really mm-hmm. wow Okay. And, and see, and, and they hide it very well, and I'm going to tell you why. Because the monster we get in this movie oh, yeah. uh, is, pl- is played by Javier, Javier Botet, which mm-hmm. is the same guy that was uh, Mama, mm-hmm. and he was uh, the crooked man in The Conjuring 2, and he's mm-hmm. the, the missing toe lady from Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Mm-hmm. We don't get a lot of monster effect. Like, that's his body. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, that's that's him. And other than he has his fucking wig on, <laughs> but <laughs> other than that, they they spent the money where they needed to spend it, and they did it very well. Yes, I agree. Um, there was no over the top CGI monster in mm. this. So, no. uh, I'm just looking it up a little bit though. Like, but Mara, uh, it looks like it. Then it's a Scandinavian creature folklore. Oh, and so it's, it's like, like an people... actual thing. 
Oh. Yeah, and what people uh, would have nightmares that that they would uh, they had been ridden by the by the Mara. Yeah, so it's it's a thing apparently. Okay, so they pulled it from actual lore from real world, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so I guess want to jump into spoilers? Kind of uh, go beat by beat, whatever we feel. Yeah, we don't I mean we don't have to go beat by beat. I mean we can talk about because. At the end of the day, in this movie, the kills aren't um, creative at all. No. It's the, it's the same kill, but I'm, I'm fine with that. Yeah. The scares are creative. Yeah. And that definitely made up for it, you mm-hmm. know? Like, and, but I'm actually going to let, I want you to go first because this was a first time view for you. Sure. Um, and I want, I want to hear what you thought about this movie. Sure. Um, so, spoilers, we're in there. Um, so we follow this, uh, I want to call her a detective, even though she's not a detective. <laughs> um, we follow Psycho. Kate. She, um, mm-hmm. she uh, goes onto this case, and the opening scene is, I thought was great. I love the whole beginning of this film of the little girl and focusing on her, and she's looking in, into the closet. I'm like, oh, okay, we're going to get in some spooks right now, which we kind of did. And then we follow her to her mother's room or her parents' room, and we get a, a very quick flash of like what happened to her father, and he's like all like bent over and broken mm-hmm. and weird looking. What was um, that? <laughs> 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 so <laughs> the following of that, we um, get introduced to uh, the detective um, McCarthy, Detective McCarthy, and Kate. And we see what his role is. He's an actual detective. Um, but Kate yeah. builds like this bond um, with this girl and the mother because um, she has a backstory of her also losing her mother um, for essentially kind of going insane. Um, mm-hmm. And then she promises the daughter. Obviously, she shouldn't have promised to be like, yeah, no, no, don't worry. Your mom's not going away anywhere. Um, but jokes on you literally <laughs> so that yeah. kind of happens and then um she gets she goes really deep into like what's going on she was taking pictures of things around the crime scene and saw a paper that had um, the name um, takahishi on it and then followed to the address which I thought was kind of funny that it was this paper and the address is so big on it. It's so it's so we can see it. <laughs> it's just like, oh my god! <laughs> so she has to do like these like follow ups and um, finds out that this guy is also dead in sort of the same manner as the father. And then she starts having these dreams and sees this figure that they're all talking about. And she um, goes to like a support group, which I don't even know if these are tr- like real like sleep paralysis support groups. You might want to join one of those. Uh, hey, <laughs> um, I, I would imagine so. Like, I would imagine that they would um they would seek out like minded uh um like 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 situations that they they're familiar with, especially with like the world we're in in this yeah. movie. Like, it's it's not just sleep paralysis. It's there's something fucking coming for you. Yeah. What when, when this happens? Because they talk about uh, there's like four stages of mm-hmm. of of Mara. And once you're tagged, that's it. That's it. And it's a little tag on the eyeball. Eyes at all to see if you have the mark. Oh, you're good. You're good. Good. (laughs) Nothing's there. So, yeah. So I like that because you know, it's 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 it makes you care about the 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 tertiary characters, especially like the, the the guy that. When they take his glasses off, his eyes are just bloodshot because he hadn't slept in forever. To the point where the man is driven crazy enough to set himself on fire. (laughs) In front of Um, the church. Hey, Hey, you know what, man? (laughs) Whatever he felt like doing, but I I dug it because it's like, it's, it's, it's one of those things because you you brought up the detective because the detective is the straight man in this movie. To the point where he doesn't believe anything mm-hmm. that's going on supernatural wise, but these people are experiencing supernatural yeah. events. Yeah. And when this guy's driven to the point of, you know, setting himself on fire because of Mara, he's more afraid of Mara than he is of dying. Yeah. At that point. 
And that's one of those things where the, the detective won't rationalize that. He'll sit there and be like, oh, well, this guy just committed suicide because he something happened in his life. Not that he was being hunted down. Uh, what I really dug is we didn't really get face reveal. Like I brought up just a little bit ago. Yeah. No face reveal of this monster until the literally the last fucking shot of the movie. Yeah. And... But Javier Potet, like, he has that cool... I don't say it's cool, but he has a fucking uh, skeletal structure that is very terrifying. Yeah, like, seeing some of the parts of, like, when they're in the room um, with Dougie, and you see his the arms is, like, all, like... Ugh. His fucking hand, dude? Like, his <sighs> fingers? Insane. Oh, my God. I mean, if you guys, if you haven't seen this, if you haven't seen Mama, he's the crooked man. Like, he... That is him. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's... That's what he fucking looks like, dude. And if you want to watch some Nightmare Fuel, watch the Mama screen tests if you haven't seen oh, those. Oh, yeah. Where he's trying out the fucking movement test. Oh, my oh, God, yeah. dude. But I like that we got, like, how we got to see, like, uh, Mara in the movie is through the eyes of the character because she can't turn her head. Her eyes can only dart back and forth. And you're yeah. getting pieces. And I loved that so much. Uh until like you know she's a big idiot and falls asleep in a ba in a full bathtub <laughs> you know what i mean it's just like hmm the decisions but <laughs> that was poorly made on hers but that scene is super tense because one all that shit's happening and two she's about to drown yeah that's what I thought you was going to happen. I'm like, oh, no, this, she's not going to die. There's no way they'll kill the character, the main character. But yeah. there was moments where I really thought she was going to die early. Yeah. And we were going to transition yeah. to this other character, Dougie, that we focus on a lot. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I liked his character a lot. I thought he was he was crazy, but he was, like, crazy in a funny way. <laughs> yeah, once he... Once he realized that she believed him, that's when I started liking him. And I mm -hmm. feel like he was brought into it because we needed someone to care about Yeah. for when, when something happened. And he was the one that we had to care about Yeah. to the point where he, when he fucking cuts his eyelid off. Oh my dude. God. <laughs> I, I oh, had to like stop the, the movie for a second. I'm like, there's no way he's going to do this. And oh man. Yep. He did it. <laughs> oh, it ruled dude. Uh, it ruled, but we get like we we're, we we focus in on the mom and daughter like you were saying a lot, and we get actually get to watch the security footage of the mom you know dying mm -hmm. because they walk into a room and she's all fucking dead, yeah, contorted and crap. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I for because I've only seen this one other time before watching it for the show. I could have sworn when they. Paula's did on her, you know, getting God, and you see the shadow that the shadow yeah. either moved or it came up to the screen ring style. Um, I don't remember it, that. I remember her it, just it sitting didn't, and glitching it didn't, though. a lot. Yeah, I thought that's what had happened the first time, but you know, just sitting there, like I'm like, there's your fucking proof. Like I don't understand, like why none of that's ever presented. It's like. You don't believe me. Like, what the fuck is this thing? Yeah. You know? It's like, so... you, you have that tape. How do you not see this also? Mm -hmm. it's... Mm -hmm. But we get the whole explanation at the end as to why she thinks only certain people can see Tomorrow. this entity, um, mm -hmm. which I thought was cool, but it was also kind of, it's like, I get it, but I feel like there could have been a much better way of going about it. Um, I guess I'll just say it here. Um, at the end, we, we have this whole realization where Kate is now at, um, I think she goes back to Takahashi's house and starts ripping down all the newspapers. Yeah. And then she makes like a, a big grid of everybody and is like, oh, wait a second, this person doesn't have anything. And then she starts asking questions and it's mainly about people who feel guilty of something that happened in their life that they had no control over or mm -hmm. they did have control over it and they just decided to go along with it anyway like with with dougie he was saying that he was like in the military and they were going on days and days without sleep and no shit apps like accidentally happened or mm -hmm. um with the daughter and kate she feels guilty in that because she put her mother away when she was innocent and just a lot of things like that. It is, it is 
like saying it out loud, I'm like, okay, it does make sense why this would happen. But it also felt like I think they could have went a little bit crazier in that. And I don't know exactly what they could have done, but I feel like there was something else they could have done them to make it more impactful. I think we got enough. Like, I feel like it wasn't like it, it, an overtold story or it wasn't like, you know, stretching it enough to make us believe. I feel like at what we got, I was like, I was satisfied with it. I was like, okay, yeah, that's, I mean, that's a reasonable explanation. Too. Yeah. But I, I dug, my favorite part of the movie is the sleep study oh, yeah. uh, when they're at the place. But I like how the doctor, the guy doctor that we've encountered a couple times in this movie, he's like, you know, I had sleep paralysis when I was a kid. I could have sworn fucking Freddy Krueger was in my room. <laughs> and then his, the girl next to him was like, yeah, you know, I thought aliens were in my room. Yeah. And they, they explained to her that the sleep paralysis like the reason why she's thinking of Mara is because she was told the story of Mara. That's why, Which that's makes why sense. What, what her sleep paralysis demon looked like is Mara. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was pretty, pretty clever. You know, I'm like, okay, that's, that's a good tie. in as to why her yeah. monster is this, but uh, when, and I love it. It's in typical horror movie fashion, dude, when they're just, they take their eyes away from the, like they divert away from watching what their job is. Yeah, <laughs> the girl goes out to smoke, and the other dude, I forget what he starts doing, but then that's when shit starts happening, yeah. man. Yeah, and I love it. Did you see like Mara's hands come up on the bed and shit? And it's just, just he's so fucking scary. Like, and it's yeah. just his body, man. The first time <laughs> that we um we encountered Mara through Kate's eyes is like I had to really look in the distance and they do that on purpose it's like they pulled out the depth of field on the camera so that way you're like that's because she's laying on? down yeah she's laying down I love looking that. i thought it was great i thought yeah. it was great. like we got this we literally seen what she was seeing yeah so you're like looking in the corner and all of a sudden you see it's like wait what is that thing and it just goes and it's like walks it, away it scoots <laughs> away yeah and i'm like oh no <laughs> and then the, um, um the bathtub scene with her behind mm -hmm. the curtain was oh we got so enough good. we got enough of her in that it was great the silhouette was awesome yeah, it was really really uh, cool but I, i'm going to double down on what i was saying earlier uh the kills aren't creative it's mara's just there to take them out and yep. all she does is wrap her wrap her fucking banana fingers around <laughs> the necks of these people yeah and choke them out like and that's really it but it doesn't take away it's it's the setup like mm -hmm. i love it, the slow walk to where they're at and you know just the how methodical it is for mara to move and shit like that is what makes it work uh for me at least and uh yeah no it's it, i i do kind of wish we I mean, I wouldn't even know if I what I'd change kill wise, like how she took them out, you know, because it, I, I, I don't think, know. Yeah, I wouldn't change anything. I'm like, well, how when you're thinking about it, okay, they're sleeping, right? What else mm -hmm. could really happen to you? Like, Ask yeah, your, your muscles tense up. It's like what's happening, and then they just kind of mm -hmm. like break upon themselves. Um, I don't, I don't know what else you you could do. Like, I feel like, oh, we'll just rip off their head. I'm like, no, that's too much. <laughs> Breaking I think the jaw I'd like, and like twisting them, I think it's fine. I'd like to see. I would have liked to have seen at least if if Mara, if this being was real, yeah, picking them up. Like if we seen them, other than just them sitting up, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Like if they literally the whole body came off the bed or something. Like Mara standing on the edge of the bed and did what she had to do, you know. So I don't know. I'm not complaining about it. I just think. Yeah, you know, we got what we got, and it was it was effective. Yes, I agree. Um, I'm trying to think if there was like any other negatives other than like how I felt some of the communication was a bit weird um, between her and the detective, and even kind of how she Kate threw herself into the motherhood position like really really soon with the daughter when mm -hmm. the mother was still alive. Like I under I get why she was doing that because. Yeah, she felt guilty of like what happened, and she even said that earlier, like way early in the film, like oh, I put somebody away who was innocent, um, mm -hmm. and she felt that. But I don't know. Um, it, it's always 
weird with movies like this when it's like a a, a daughter and, and a mother and then you have an outside person come in and they kind of like take on the role of the the mother because something's happening to the real one i don't know there's something about that that always kind of like it's like can't we just do something a little bit different but um that's yeah. like really my only it's not even a gripe it's just i don't even know it's just yeah. something that happens in movies often <laughs> I also really liked the uh, the very tense boat scene that's in mm. this. That's oh, really yeah. good. That's Which is really going to good hospital. too. Yeah, but this movie does what I love at the end, and I feel like the whole time Mara is just testing the waters. You know, like seeing the limits of this of the psychiatrist. You know, yeah. Because at the end of the movie, <clears throat> Mara doesn't fucking hold back. You know, and picks up the chair that she's sitting in. Yeah. And I love it because I love when the bad guy wins because if if they found a way for this lady to beat this other earth like <laughs> otherworldly demon. I don't know how I would have felt about this movie after watching it. Yeah, it's just like and we would have been like, "Well, how do they actually beat this person or thing?" It's like you ha- you have just- to sleep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and they're saying, "Oh, if we just tell somebody, oh, this is the other thing." It was like you just saying you're innocent is <laughs> what clears you. <laughs> to yeah. <say> you're... <laughs> that yeah. was like really got me. I was like, "You're innocent." Oh, thank God, my sleep paralysis is gone. <laughs> but dude, I love the fact that Mara wins at the end, dude. Like, yeah, it just the, the cycle just continues. Like, it doesn't stop because, like, like I said, that's another otherworldly demon you know like it's like not it's not gonna be stopped by the power of love no you know so i doesn't care about that <laughs> at all but um, that's when we get like the face reveal and i was like to be honest i didn't need it no 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 i didn't, I didn't need it but at the same time it looked really good yeah so i agree because i also think it looked really good because that was the only time we've seen it mm-hmm. and you the know lighting so it didn't... was really good it was like <clears throat> black and blue and just really yeah. deep colors. So like, this is a cool setting. Um, yeah. I think they, they hinted on that a lot throughout this film of like when it is like time for Mara to be around, like the lighting the, gets the a little dread. weird and like the yeah. depth of field obviously gets shown out because we're seeing it through the eyes of Kate or somebody Whoever. else. Um, yeah. Like with Dougie, his situation where he has this big, big industrial, like, clock and music and he's got like a uh, a generator outside who that runs out of gas and mm-hmm. he just doesn't wake up and then bye bye well i'm saying he, he only had one eye at that point you know like he, he she came from his blind side yeah that's what that, she did. that was really cool like his whole get up i think was really really cool i liked him i think he was my favorite character um, sure out of the whole thing if i had to pick one yeah no, so uh, yeah, that's Mara. Mara, Hell fuck, yeah. I, yeah. So, what are your um? How did you feel about the movie in a whole? Um, I enjoyed it. I can give you my ratings, my letterboxed, and my personal. So, letterboxed, okay. I gave it a two point five out of five. I thought, that's you fair. know, you know, it it felt low budget and it felt very indie, which I love. Um, there were some things about it that obviously it could be amped up but for what it was i enjoyed it a lot and my personal score would be a six out of ten okay <clears throat> that's on that's fair that's yeah the way i the way i view letterboxes if i rate it over a two that's me being able to recommend it to someone yeah i feel the same you know so my letterbox i gave it a three out of five oh, okay because it's not too far off i've i literally expressed everything i really liked about the movie and there's almost nothing I don't like about it. Um, I don't think the scares were cheap. I don't think... No. The, I mean, I, I talked earlier about the, the kills being a little different, but also, I, honestly, they're effective. So at the, at the end of the day, it's they're, they're not cheap either. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. There's, there's not much to complain, at least for me, about this movie. And we got the right amount of Mara in it. Oh, for Sorry. sure. Definitely was not overdone, which mm-hmm. I appreciate. It's, I feel like nowadays, if this was made two or three years later, it would have been in every single scene. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sure. There would have been something 
The new Mara <laughs> we, merch show right the, now. The director placed Mara in 293 scenes of the movie. Did you spot her? <laughs> <laughs> Shit like that, dude. Oh, man. But yeah, no, this, this film was a lot of fun. It was different. It was a change of pace from what I've been watching. And I really like when I can watch something that breathes mm-hmm. some fresh air. It's a different topic. It's not a slasher. It's not like all these other copycat movies that have been coming out lately. This is a standalone thing that's kind of doing it. It, doing it best in its kind of realm. Because there's not a lot of movies that deal with sleep paralysis. And out of the ones that are out there, this is probably one of the better ones. Other than the documentary I said earlier. Yeah, um, this is the this is the deep blue sea of sleep paralysis. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> I just want to I just want to again double down on what I said earlier too. Like it talks about Scandinavian folklore, then there's Hebrew, Buddhism and Hindu and Greek. So Mara's <laughs> around. Like Mara in Greek is the she's the the god of death. Well, you're close to being in Hindu by her Hindu than mythology. I am. Yeah. Yeah, and then I'll I'll pass it on to you so you can no experience it no yeah. no you just said you wanted it no <laughs> i said small small you don't percent. want javier javier botet to come out with his fucking banana hands and uh, grab he's you? not in the get up and it's just him himself sure i don't know i, I, I think that's still like that's scary as fuck yeah but at least i don't have <laughs> to look at a makeup wigged that's that's actor. true yeah. <laughs> yeah um so yeah mara wins at the end hell yeah love so it. love it let us know in the comments below, guys, if you've seen this, if you're putting this on your list. If you have seen it, let us know what you thought about it. And share, like, comment. Just blast this everywhere, wherever you're listening to and watching. We appreciate all of you who are on our Patreon right now. You guys are getting episodes mad early lately. Like, oh, real yeah. early. You're and welcome. we got some plans. Some plans coming up real soon. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, thank you guys for being here. And um, we'll see you on the next one. Later.